it's Walker Heckman here, back with another video. Today's a little more of a laid back video, just a quick unboxing and a first impressions. If you've ever considered buying an underwater camera for ice fishing or for fishing off your boat, this would be a good video for you to watch. A lot of those underwater cameras actually do cost quite a bit of money, and this is more of a budget option for you. So if that sounds good to you, let's dive into this box and see what we're looking at. Alright guys, so first off, we got this little package which I'm pretty sure I know what this is. I think this is Aquaview's camera adjuster. You put it over your ice hole and spin a dial to change the angle of your camera so you can actually find your jig or whatever you're looking for. Let's rip this puppy open and see what it looks like. Just a nice little envelope for packaging. Oh. I don't know what all that is, but it just exploded everywhere. Probably could have used scissors. So there we go. Yeah, so that is what it is. That, that was a good guess. So as you can see, we got the Aqua View Ice Pod. We'll go ahead and take this off. Alright guys, we got her open. Let's pop this out. So basically all this does, it's a nice little accessory if you get an underwater camera, is you open it up. It's got multiple different angles you can put it at, depending on how you like it to be set. But you slide your wire for your camera in there, and then through this dial also and you set that on top all through itself and then you use this little dial to spin the wire around and from what I've seen it's a lot easier to get your camera positioned with one of these. I actually thought that I ordered the electric one but looks like I ordered the manual one. So we're gonna get that set up with this to do our first impressions but this is the bread and the honey of this video. This is an EOYO 7 inch underwater camera. It costs, I think, $130 on Amazon. We're going to get into it. Get her opened up. Oh, it's a box inside of a box. But this is a much cheaper option versus buying like a $350 plus dollar camera from Markham or Aquaview, which I'm sure they're better, but if you don't want to spend that kind of money on an underwater camera, this might just be the option for you. Alright, finally got everything opened up. Looks like it's all inside of a nice case in here. So we'll pull that off. Get rid of that box. So it comes in some bubble wrap. Pretty decent packaging. It's really heavy, which I think is a good thing. But yeah, yo yo. Nice hard case it comes in. I don't even think the expensive ones come in a nice hard case. Nice handle. Okay, so when you first open it, there is this foam pad, which I think you're supposed to keep. Oh, I know what this is. This is a sunshade to put around the screen if you're using it outside of an ice house to keep the, keep the sun off your screen so you can use it. Got a nice little user manual here. Some sort of other little manual. So now, we're into it. Looks like we've got, I'm assuming the charging cable. Big battery pack with two connections. This looks like the end of the camera wires, which 
which are in this big spool, which is nice. With a uh, Velcro cover, so it doesn't turn into a big mess. That's actually all wrapped in plastic, so we'll leave that for now. Nice they included that Velcro. This must be how you plug it all in. So this comes off the monitor, this comes off the camera. Plug them together to get the camera to the monitor. I already noticed a problem with it. The monitor is so heavy that if you take the battery and stuff out of the bottom, it flips down. Here's a little better angle of that. If I let go of it, it just falls backwards. Other than it falling backwards, so far I'm very impressed. We've got some sort of a bobber that I'm assuming is a I mean, what you would use instead of that tripod that I got. You'd put the wire in there and use this to spin it, maybe. I probably won't use that. We've got some little white clips, it looks like. We've got some metal clips. And last but not least, we have got the camera, which is conveniently shaped and painted to look like a fish. I guess they must think that'll not scare the fish down there as much since this is only a few feet from your jig. Hopefully it works. One, th one thing thing I like about this is it's got a 7 inch monitor and a lot of those expensive ones do not even go up to this size of monitor without getting up to like almost a thousand dollar range and I thought I'd appreciate this bigger monitor a lot better. With that we are going to pull the plastic off of the monitor get this baby hooked up and see if it records video. Okay so the monitor also pops right off of the back of the case just by pushing this little button on the side of the case. So that's nice. You don't have to use the case to hold your monitor if you don't want to. We're just going to go ahead and leave this plastic on for now because I can't seem to get it off. These are all conveniently labeled. Red is power, yellow is video, black is camera. So we're going to plug the power into the battery. Oh yeah, she turned on says no signal because the camera's not on yet. We're going to plug video and video together from the camera to the monitor and we're going to plug camera and camera together. Boom! There it is right there. We have got video to the monitor. I'll show you you guys. There you are on the tripod. So, that is pretty cool. And then it's also got an LED light for underwater. If you go pretty deep underwater, there's obviously not much light, or if there's a bunch of snow on top of the ice when you're ice fishing, there's not much light. So there is an LED that you can plug in. Oh, and it's definitely infrared. I don't know if the camera will pick that up, but all those little lights just turned on. They're red. And I think the on-off switch is literally just by plugging this in. If it's dark, you gotta plug this in. Which, for a cheap camera, who cares? That's okay. I'm gonna dive into this monitor a little bit. Menu, you can change the brightness. Keep that where it was at about 50. Contrast, the color. You can change the zoom. Oh, they, you can just change the aspect ratio from 4, 3, or 16 by 9. We want 16 by 9 for YouTube videos. So those are the options you can change with the menu. Oh, and you can change the language. Then we've got V1, V2. Okay, that also just changes the aspect ratio. You can flip it upside down in case you want to hang it 
case you want to hang it from this bottom hook instead of one of these top hooks. Okay guys, it looks like I ended up getting the one without the DVR. That must be why there's a price difference. This one is like 127. There's another seven inch version for 150 with the DVR option so you can record. So there is a chance I send this back and get the DVR option since I make YouTube videos. I want to be able to record. Or I'll just keep it, use it for now, and in the next few years upgrade to a better camera. But with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this short little video. I just want to do an unboxing and show you guys this cheap, cheap little ice fishing camera. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to be a part of our 1000 subscriber giveaway. All you have to do is be one of the first 1,000 subscribers on this YouTube channel and you will be put in to win an ugly stick spinning combo. Go ahead and leave a comment if you have any questions about this underwater camera. I'd be happy to answer them for you. Make sure to hit that like button if you like this video. And as always, keep it wild.